Snail and porridge might seem like a bit of a bizarre combination, but it is totally delicious to eat. It's got this vibrant green concentrated parsley flavour. The snails are wonderful. They're sautéed with um, big mouthfeel and lovely earthiness as well. So you just got to get over the name. What I do to begin with though is take these oats just exactly the same as you'd have for breakfast, porridge. I need to get rid of the finer the finer part of these oats, it acts like flour and just makes the porridge go too gloopy. This dish is literally two to three minutes from start, starting cooking to actually serving it. Okay, that's probably about fine. Having got excited with the prospect of making snail porridge, I then did think, oh, how popular is this dish gonna be? How many people are gonna think snails gray gloopy, porridge gray gloopy, together really gray, really gloopy? serves in a grey room with grey people. It all sounds a little bit depressing, really. So the big barrier is snail porridge. So let's bring, try and make the dish as user-friendly as possible by putting all the most delicious things that snails are associated with. So hence, parsley, garlic, shallots, ham, almonds, butter, um, and then saute the snails. So you've got to add something that tastes really delicious. It's just the name. So, what I'm going to do now, and here I've got some snail stock. This is basically the snails here that have been braised in chicken stock with herbs and vegetables for four hours. That's going to form the base liquid that we're going to use for the porridge. Okay, that's hot enough, just going to put these oats in. We'll stop. Now we're going to incorporate this butter. Now this, it's got tons of parsley in it. It's got garlic, there's seps, which is a form of wild mushroom, shallots, ham, almonds. And then all we do is beat this into the oats. See, it's vivid green. It's incredibly intense, fragrant. Ready. I'm going to adjust the seasoning of this now. Needs more salt. Never tire of eating, eating this stuff. Now, just before I start plating this up, in here, have another pan with some butter that's just butter that's been melted. Snails. These are the snails that have been braised for four hours. You just saute them really 30 seconds to a minute. Snails cooked in butter. Fantastically classical, delicious thing to eat. Okay, now, snail. Here's the, the porridge. And here I've got some ham, which is this uh, habugo ham. It's from the Pata Negra pig from northern Spain. It's wonderful stuff. So now let's go onto the, onto the porridge. Just finish off, I'll put this fennel. And here this is some, got some vinaigrette in the bottom, which is walnut oil and walnut vinegar. Then that goes on top. And that's it. The dreaded, infamous, famous, call it what you want, delicious snail porridge. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, there is a lot of work to get, to get that recipe finished. But if you like snails, then I really do not see how you can not love this dish.